They bring a lot of interesting things. And this is a big platform in our country. It seems to me that this is a unique opportunity to perform on a such a large professional platform. So, of course, it is always pleasant to participate in Google Fest. In Ukraine, the anniversary Google Fest 2017 will be held. What kind of flood threatens modern day people? And what will become the place of their salvation? What art can open the way to enlightenment? All these questions are answered by the opera belly of La Troetsky. I have said my word. I hope that it was convincing enough. This year, the theme of Google Fest is the art. The most important thing is that we can share experiences and they can share it with us. The Ark is a journey, but the Ark, this is the place of salvation and the receptacle of life, reads the manifesto of the 10th anniversary of the Google Fest Art Festival. According to the Bible, the Ark was a vessel made by Noah for salvation of people from the Great Deluge. Last year, the theme of Google Fest was Babylon. This year, the theme of Google Fest is the Ark. Festival organizer and production director Vladislav Troitsky and his comrades presented the Opera Belly Ark at Google Fest. This large scale theater project was the final part of the operatic biblical trilogy of the Maestro. After the Opera Requiem job and the Opera Circus Babylon, the text of the Old Testament, the Song of Songs of King Solomon, is the basis of the libretto for the art. This production became the embodiment of the concept of the whole festival. It seems to me that it was good, but what seems to me is an illusion. It is important what will happen next. Troitsky is satisfied. I think that this is his best work as a director. This is one of his best works, maybe, even better than his legendary performance at the Dog House. The large-scale project ARC is a vivid example of creative co-production. After the premiere at Gogglefest, the show will be shown to the European public because ARC is a common Ukrainian-Swiss asset. It was not by accident that ambassador of Switzerland to Ukraine, while visiting the mirror of the performance, noted the success and prospects of such cooperation. I am a very fan of Gogglefest for several reasons. First, because of the very rich, amazing personality of the person behind all of this, Vlad. Thanks to Vlad, the Google Fest has become one of the most important art festivals in Ukraine, and we are very happy. Also, Google Fest gives a unique opportunity for young Ukrainian artists to be known and to have a first exposure to international stage. And lastly, it has an ed educational function because it gives an opportunity for young cultural managers to learn the job on the job. Switzerland this year will be one of the main sponsors uh, and uh, contributors to this event. Now there are a lot of festivals. We were recently at the Shakespeare Festival. There were a lot of co-productions, in fact, in the theatrical sphere. I think this will be the next step in the development of art. For us, this stage is one of the most important examples of cultural exchange. The central metaphor of the play is the history of mankind as Noah's Ark personally. The Ark became a salvation for Noah and his family. The modern world, as written in the manifesto of the festival, is also experienced a flood, but today it is flooded not with water, but with information trash and plenty of extra things, Vlad Troitsky said. So the Ark of Salvation of people from the modern flood can be art a place of joint creativity. When people experience emotions together, they jointly contemplate important issues and try to figure them out. All this is also creativity. The project's participants are convinced.
And this is one of the most inspirational works for us, because firstly, this is a topic of civilizational scale. The topic is global, which concerns everyone. And Vlad asked, what would you like to take with you on the Ark? What music? Well, something like that. The music for the Ark was written by composers of the Nova Opera Formation, Ilya Razumeiko and Roman Hrihorev. They traditionally represent the most daring experiments in modern Ukrainian music. The exalted work of composers was filled by the inspiration of soloists and musicians from the Nova Opera. Writing opera is very cool. If you want to write, you just have to believe that you will just do it. This is how we have been doing this for three years. This is our sixth opera in three years. We played in different countries of the world as well. We go to America with our operas. The whole team worked together in a single impulse in order to build an arc of real art. The dancers of the Ukrainian collective Totem Dance got a rare opportunity to improve their skills at the World Choreography Tour. They were directed by Oscar Chaikon, premier of the Royal Ballet of Britain. The most difficult thing, of course, is to get into the story, into the state, not just to dance it formally, but to live a story. Today we were overcome by emotions, because the story is really complicated, it is very penetrating and difficult to experience. It's hard not to drop out of this story, it is extremely difficult to live it through yourself, especially for young children. Upon the invitation of Vlad Troitsky, the choreographer Oskar Chaikon came to Kiev and directed the rehearsals of the plastic part of the play. The dancers did not get tired of improvising. They embedded dance combinations and modern pause, fulfilling the main task of the directors to give each separate movement a profound sense. We, in cooperation with this dance group and Swiss choreographer Oskar Chaikon, this work directed by Vlad Troitsky was done. Vlad asked such questions. Well, you also sometimes feel lonely. And our kids answered, yes, it happens. They just look like children. In fact, there's a huge world inside. The authors of the creative cycle want to explore the imperfect human essence and find the path to accord and harmony. The opera ballet arc is a production miracle. It's a parable. It's like one of those 3,000 parables compiled by King Solomon. It is very dark, bitter, piercing, and without any sentimental illusions whatsoever. Despite this seemingly negative side to it, the concept nevertheless has a bright and life-affirming beginning, exclusively for the female members of the ballet group. All of them are our Ukrainians, but we have a Swiss choreographer, Oskar Chaikon, premier of the English ballet. In general, in the world of ballet, a star from the school of Maurice Bejar. And we will have a Swiss tour next year with this ballet. It is also important that this is close cooperation between Ukraine and Switzerland. For the ARC, Oskar Chaikon prepared an unusual solution regarding the composition of the ballet group. Among the dancers are adult women and girls of 7 to 10 years of age. Each of them pulls a pile of boxes, carefully unpacks them and checks their contents. According to the idea of the directors, this is their past. Dancers are representatives of different generations and each one carries different luggage from the past. They contain both memorabilia and the garbage that we consume daily. The heroines are on the threshold of transition to a new world and most importantly, to choose what they take there with them.
It is the first time we felt that we're really together. It's about the musicians, every instrument, every voice, every dance on stage and actors, props. It all came together in some kind of magical way. And this is an inexpressible emotion. Everything in such euphoria. Emotions overfilled us because we tried very hard to be honest in our approach. In addition to the ballet totem dance, the leading dance party in the production was performed by the actress of the theater in Padal, Tamara Plashenko. The heroine gives gifts to everybody, builds walls, protects them from bad weather and forces them to work, while the other characters personify infantile humankind, which by its action goes farther from the creator. The modern female image created by the actress, according to the author's intention, embodies the timeless divine principle which makes it possible to repent and seek forgiveness. The genre image of the play is a modern chamber mystery, which the actors played in restrained, semi-aesthetic, semi-trash tones and scenery. Vlad Troitsky's creative projects have long been known and popular in Europe. The plays created by him are also successful in Ukraine, because the audience eagerly awaits his new works and perspicacious messages. This was so that they would ask themselves questions about life, about love and about death. And the crowded hall applauded with a grateful ovation and for a long time did not let the artist leave the stage, confirming the highest level of the audience's appreciation of the maestro's professionalism. Troitsky is the best director in Ukraine and the only director in Ukraine who lets the music speak for itself for the audience. All the other directors use music. They turn on and off recorded tapes. But Troitsky works with live musicians and it's no wonder he created two famous bands. And now the formation of the new opera was also his creation. And we as live musicians play. We're not just a background that can be turned on and off. To date, he's the only director in Ukraine who does such thing. We're very happy that we're working closely with him. This year the festival received the status of European and entered the list of 26 of the seven best festivals in the world. And the triumphant success of the main premiere of the Jubilee Gogol Fest is a reliable indicator of the international recognition.